welcome back my good people and in today's video we are going to talk about how to take pediatric history for medical students and uh, we should be able to know our main aim and objectives of taking this history is to provide a direct examination and investigation reach a correct diagnosis or form a differential diagnosis establish the constant of a child illness both psychological family and social context establish and maintain a good relationship with the child and parents and uh, use the interaction with the child parents as part of therapeutic process use the understanding and knowledge of contents and background to tailor pragmatic appropriate treatment strategies Take an overview of the child's previous and current state of health to anticipate and identify any problem which may not be immediately uh, apparent. And these are very, very important in taking a uh, pediatrics history. So we should be able to put into consideration this. Now, the normal history format is as indicated. We should be able to know patient biodata, demographic data, child chief complaints and duration, history of presenting illness, review of other systems, past medical and surgical history, family socioeconomic history, summary, general examination, vital systemic examination, differential diagnosis and management. This is a normal history taking format which cut across uh, all words being gynecological word, obstetric word, uh, surgical or pediatric. There are just some few changes that we are going to take or we are going to see when we are dealing with a child, when we are taking pediatric history. It is slightly different. All patient biodata, chief complaints, uh, history of presenting illness, review of other systems, past medical and surgical history are going to be the same. The only slight difference is that after past medical and surgical history, we should be able to put into consideration pediatric history. Pediatric history is very, very important. Now, in this, we are going to... Uh, see antenatal and prenatal history is very very important and we are going to discuss all about this also we should be able uh, to know in pediatric history what also come by natural that is the birth history of the child and this we are going to discuss into details and again we should be able to consider post natal history uh, that is after the child has been given birth to. Then we should be able also to consider immunization history and we are going to discuss this into details about immunization of the child. And again, we should um, be able to also consider nutritional history of the child which will cover into details and also growth and development history. Now, this is what differs from, uh, this is the difference between other histories, the one that I've marked in red, that is pediatric history. So we should be able to consider all that. Now, uh, if we continue to the other slide, uh, we should be able to see that uh, patient biodata or demographic data entails all this. The name of the child is very important, age, sex, and weight in kilograms, height in centimeters, and mid-upper circumference and head circumference. The two uh, may vary from time to time depending on the age of the child. Uh, of course, county, sub-county, location, uh, sub-location and village, next of kin, date of admission, phone phone contact of the parents or guardian is very very key in this scenario so we should be able uh, to know uh, this weight I still stress is very very important because most of the drugs we give in children are calculated in kilograms that is 
weight in kilogram so we give drug doses based on the kilogram of the child and uh, in chief compliance and duration uh, use open questioning to explore the child presenting complaint allowing the parents or guardians and the child to recount and presenting symptoms in their own words and in their own pace for example so what brought you or what brought the child today what brought you today etc just be brief in primary problem including the duration because uh, uh, eg we may say hotness of the body for two days vomiting for three days not bloody or conversion two times uh, in the last three hours in this chief complaints do not use medical terms kindly use what uh, the parent is telling you if it's an older child who can be able to talk then use their own words while doing chief complaint and do not do not forget the duration of chief complaints this normally help us to know whether the problem is acute or whether the problem is chronic so it is very very important uh, in the first part of this history of presenting illness is very very important uh, the following questions might be useful to gain more details like uh, when did the current problem start what was it like has the problem changed at all etc etc so in, in this manner uh, it is very very similar to all other history taking and here we are very very also interested uh, whether there is a similar episode in the past or not any problems uh, whether it is being worsened or getting better uh, do you have any photographic or video evidence even if there is a shaza you should be able to share uh, with us in the history of presenting illness and this is your presenting illness should be flowing uh, like uh, a summary of uh, what the child or what the parent is uh, presenting to you now there are some children uh, older children who might be presenting with pain now socrates is very very important in this scenario whereby uh, we explain pain into details that is sight ask about the location of the pain where is the pain can you point where you explain the pain and even the onset of the pain you clarify how it, the pain started how it developed is it sudden or gradual uh, have you been experiencing this pain before character is very very important radiation associated factors and time course those are very very important as about specific characteristics of the pain that is in the character radiation as if the pain moves ev anywhere else that the pain spread everywhere associated factors symptoms which are associated with the pain and uh, also time course clarify what the pain has changed over time as the pain changed over time you should be able to note that down exacerbating or relieving factors uh, and severity is very very important and in severity uh, we normally use pain score exacerbating factors what makes the pain worse uh, it should be or what makes the pain better severity we use pain score as it indicated in the diagram from 0 to 10 is very very important for us to consider that so you simply look at the diagrammatic form and ask the patient now uh, kindly note that all the system affected in history of presenting illness must be reviewed into details the, the other system that were not affected will be reviewed on the review of other systems that uh, we will talk about shortly our main goal is to help in ruling out uh, cases and even uh, making uh, proper diagnosis and also in this it will also help us to uh, make differential diagnosis review of other system is very very important and uh, of course you will in pediatric history uh, will do cardiopulmonary that is cardiovascular and respiratory gastrointestinal genitourinary new neuromuscular that is central nervous system and musculoskeletal ear nose and throat and sometimes we may even go ahead and review uh, dermatology dermatology into details so 
each and every questions that should be asked in review of systems as indicated here you should be able to question the parent so long as it was not affected in history of presenting illness so review of system is very very key and you should be able to review each and every system into details and this one also will help us to make proper diagnosis and to make uh, to come out with differential diagnosis so review of system is also very very important in this particular scenario should not be able uh, to forget everything and when you are reviewing the ENT uh, it's very very important uh, you may be asking the parents or if they are they are older children who are able to talk or who are able to explain themselves uh, we consider them up to 12 years in pediatrics ward 13 years and above may move to a medical ward so those who are able to talk should be able to ask questions into details uh, smaller children who are not able to talk the infants in units you ask the parents or the guardian so that you get the history in full past medical and surgical history is very very important that's a major medical illness like sickle cell disease gulin barre syndrome uh, cerebral palsy, hypertension, and diabetes, uh, major surgical operations, uh, trauma, fractures, lacerations, previous admissions to the hospital, current medication, drug allergies, history of blood transfusions, those ones you should be able to ask in past medical and surgical history into details. And also these ones may also help us in making diagnosis and also in differential diagnosis. Pediatric history is very very important here and um, prenatal history uh, is very very important that is maternal health during pregnancy was the mother attending ANC uh, also antenatal profile is very very significant uh, whether there was bleeding, trauma, hypertension, fevers, infection, illness, medication, drugs, alcohol, smoking, rupture of membrane or place of delivery is very very important natural history that gestation age of delivery labor and delivery length of labor fetal distress type of delivery whether it was vaginal cs use of forceps and as easier bridge delivery natural period the upgas of the child breathing problems oxygen with the use whether the child was taken to nbu problems of length of stay birth weight whether there were birth injuries should be able to be in the natural history now, postnatal history, that is immunization history, here we consider as per KP schedule, the provision of the BCG at birth, oral polio at birth, and IPV is very, very important. And kindly consider the time frame that are given as in relation to that, and also check a BCG scar, whether present or absent, and also note that the polio vaccine, polio vaccine given at birth, uh, that is OPV0 at 6 weeks, 10 weeks and 14 weeks is very very important and also consider the sites of which this particular immunizations are given. This is very very important so that uh, it can help you uh, to know uh, how. Now uh, the doses that these are also given, the PCV10, the most pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, rotavirus, uh, it's very very important for you to consider uh, the schedules of this particular vaccine. Uh, PCV has indicated the time frame and where it's given. It's very, very important uh, for you as a medical student to know. The measles uh, rubella vaccine for exposed children, that is HIV exposed children, measles rubella vaccine at nine months and 18 months and yellow fever. Uh, this is so specific to, to some counties. So uh, time frame of which they are given is very, very key to be considered in this manner when you are taking your history because a child might come with a problem and this may be due to maybe he or she missed a very, very important vaccine. So putting into consideration time frame and site whether it was given or not. 
vitamin A supplementation uh, is very very important and even micronutrients powders that are given uh, 10 sachet monthly uh, is very very important to be considered kindly note that mothers normally fail to bring their children uh, from six months to five years so kindly check into details whether vitamin A uh, 100,000 international units were given at six months and then 200,000 international units thereafter till five years. Kindly take that into consideration because vitamin supplements are very, very important. Dewarming the child from one year is very, very important. That is from 12 months and up to five years. Kindly check into details whether this was done and indicated in the mother to child booklet so this one will help you when you are taking the history whether the child was dewormed or not nutritional history is very very important that is feeding history exclusive breastfeeding at what age stopping and the reason why expressed breast milk that is ebm reason why it was given complementary feeds at what age uh, who feeds the child is the child on balanced diet or on bottle feeds formulas frequency and amounts changes in formula reasons why are there problems when these formulas are changed growth and development history is very very important uh, in this manner and thereby you should be able to be checking this and what can guide you is in the mother to child booklet and also this you should be able to master in your mind the growth and development history when you are taking history and you uh, you should you are not able to remember kindly check the mother to child booklet there is development milestone and compare with the age of the child ask the mother or the caregiver or the guardian whether the child had delayed mental for example those who have cerebral palsy tend to uh, develop delay in milestones and even those who are malnourished kindly check into details age of the child weight of the child in relation uh, to what the mother or the caregiver is giving you into details and mother to child booklet is very very important because they provide us with a pictorial manner of the month the child is supposed to start the social smile even following colorful objects changes before uh, the eyes that is from zero to two months is very very important to follow this family socioeconomic history is very important uh, family history of cardiac diseases hypertension stroke diabetes cancer abdominal uh, sickle cell diseases uh, is very important allergies asthma epilepsy mental growth and retardation uh, problem with the social living situation daycare issues condition of the parent family occupation of the parents are very very important in family and socio-economic history because um, you may file a malnourished child and this might help you uh, this format will also remain in other department as for pediatrics after taking your history you should be able to summarize give general examination vital science systemic examination your differential uh, management etc so uh, this is just a basic way of taking your history and kindly watch this video and always practice this in the world thank you so much for watching and uh, do subscribe to this our channel click the notification bell for more videos that we post see you in the next video